as bad as it sounds, like if I didn't feel this overwhelming amount of support that I may have had a lot harder time coming out. Oh yeah, And for I sure. just wish, like we met these girls last night and they got married. I'm gonna cry if I talk about it. They got married yesterday and one of them had, like was like, we follow y'all on Instagram. And they were so cute. And their name, um, we're not gonna say their names, but they're family. They're from like a southern small town and they've been together for years, like two years, four years. Four years, yeah. On and off. And they're like families. Like, like one of them told me, um, cause I asked her how her family was like supportive, you know, if they were supportive or not. And she told me that when she told her dad that her and her girlfriend were getting married, that he said, that's disgusting. He said, you're disgusting. You're disgusting. He said, you're disgusting. And so to all of you, who are struggling to come out or who ask us like how we did it. Like there's not a good way to do it. Like I didn't do it the right way. I just started posting on social media and let my parents find out that way. Um, and the first year was really rocky with my family, but like I'm telling you like with time, it's gotten better and it doesn't get better for everybody. But just like you only live one time, you need to chase your happiness and like you live one time. Um, if possible like do it in like a respectful way to your family but if they can't be respectful of you and your happiness then it, you'll find family and friends and stuff like that like you'll find your own family and mm -hmm. um, you will. and uh, so anybody like who wants like an inspiration of how to come out like there is not a good like there's, there's not an easy way there's not a good easy way let's i think we should both talk about our like how we came out like really quickly yeah okay um, yeah, coming out is definitely like, there's no perfect way to do it. And some of us are outed by somebody or somebody accidentally finds out, or we just tell the world on social media. There's all kinds of ways. My kid's mom but, found out on her. Yeah. So my parents found out because my first girlfriend, um, I was like hanging out with her all the time and like lying to my parents about where I was. So I was like, hey, let's just say her name was Jordan and she's so beautiful. She was, she passed away. Mm -hmm. Like she was so pretty, so pretty. And she was so good. She like, was like my six first feet real tall. girlfriend. She was like six foot one volleyball player. Beautiful. Looks like a model. Like she was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. Micah was the femme femme. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> but Anyway. So me and Jordan had taken a picture on the couch and um, so it was on my phone and like I had several pictures of Jordan in my gallery, whatever. So my mom, I went to visit my parents and me and my mom took a selfie and so we took the picture and then my mom was like, oh, let me see it. Well, my phone, like whenever I pulled up my gallery, it went to like the last picture that I had taken and it was like a picture <coughs> of Jordan. And so it pops up and, you know, me and Jordan, like, I don't even remember, it was like on the couch, like all cuddled up. And so I was like, oh shit. And like, I swiped. And when I swiped, it went to a picture of Jordan looking gay as fuck. And like some, <laughs> she had on like swim trunks and like a Nike So you bra. added yourself. And so I was like, yeah, I was like very obvious that she was gay. So the next day, my mom, I was actually with Jordan. Um, my mom texted me and was like, uh hey, I have a question. Was that girl that I saw in, in your phone, was she was she a lesbian? And I was like, I was just like. Did your like, heart sink? Oh, yeah, it did. But, but I mean, I knew that it was shit was about to hit the fan after she saw this picture. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. I'm just going to be honest. I was with Jordan, so I felt like strong. She was, me and her were hanging out at the time. And so I was like, yeah, I, she was in, or she is. And my mom goes, please tell me you're not having anything to do with that. And I was like, fuck it. I was like, well, I was like, what if I am? Like, are you going to hate me? And literally, oh my God, shit hit the fan. She called me. Her and my dad are like bawling, crying, like freaking out. Um, and I don't want to say too much about the stuff they said to me, but I, I really don't. But it was not good. Like, it was not good what they said to me. It was really bad. Um, cause but they, in, in like cause respect for your parents. In respect of my parents, it's Let's, just because they thought it was disgusting, you know, like and their it's religious against beliefs. their religion. Yeah, so it wasn't like, like, you know, it wasn't like my parents was like, 
I never want to have anything to do with you again. Yeah, it wasn't you. like they wanted to disown me. Luckily, they love me so much and they still love me to this day. They've never disowned me. But the things they said about being a lesbian was really bad and, you know, some religious Heartful. stuff. It was, yeah, so it was like that kind of bad. Yeah, because I don't want to be disrespectful no. to my parents. But I'm just saying, like, coming out is really hard. And then, like, from that point on, it was just, like, a rough road of, like, hashing stuff out and, like, my parents telling me, you know, sending me long text messages about, you know, religious, like, scripture and about how I was wrong and da 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 da, da. And It was just, like, two years. And, and then I kind of, like, went back into the closet because it was so awful. And so I just went back into hiding. We didn't talk about it. I didn't tell them what she I was doing. tried to date doing. guys again. I tried to date guys right after Jordan. We, like, broke up and it was so sad. And I tried to date guys and I would just, like, date guy after guy. And it was, like, awful. It was like I was trying to make myself straight. And it was, like, <laughs> didn't work at all. It was, like, the worst thing. Um, just made it worse. And so, went back into the closet, dated a girl secretly for a while. And then, fast forward, here I am with Erin. And whenever I started dating Erin, I was like, I knew how much I loved her. And I was like, ready to come out then. Because you were like, the person that I wanted to be like, this is my girlfriend. Like, on social media and stuff. Because I had never posted anything, like, gay. You looked gay in I pictures, looked gay in my but pictures, you... but I never really, like... Yeah. was like, hey, like I'm yeah. a lesbian, or this is my girlfriend. So with Erin, I remember posting like our first picture. Hey, pull it up. Me, yeah, I'll find we, it. She, like, we, I kind of came out, I post, I came out with my ex um, for like, a, like, it was basically like a couple pictures, and it was a couple months before me and Micah met. It's like the very end of me and that girl's relationship. But I wanted to come out, and I didn't know how to come out without a girlfriend. So, honestly, I did not want to come out with it. That was the same way I... Like, that's the same way I Like, felt. I wanted to come I out, but I didn't out. know how. So, I just came out with that girl, and I kind of regret it. Like, I wish I would have just waited a little longer. But Don't it, you all wish happens, that, it all happens for, like, a reason. Yeah. Like, and, but, and it, like, it was kind of better because she kind of got more of the brunt of, like... Is it blunt or brunt? When you say the bear brunt? the brunt, I think what's it's a the brunt? brunt? I'm not really sure. She got the brunt. <laughs> I don't that know, right? is that right? Of like the shit, like the people who didn't support and everything. So when I was with Micah, they were kind of eased it a little bit. And Micah's way prettier than that person. Oh, look. And Micah's, oh, there it is. Show it. So it was like a couple of pictures. Oh, oh it's not it's it. not gonna be info. Yeah, you can't we'll, see it. Okay. We'll try to but put it on the screen. The caption is, um, what an incredible person this girl is. So happy to have met you. And then I tagged her and like put like some kissy faces. And it's very obvious that's like, oh shit, like she's with her. Don't yeah. you think so? Like people yeah. knew. That was I like, just posted these pictures the other day, and then in the picture the funniest part is I look I look like I'm cheesing so hard. Like, I look so fucking happy. Like, I looked at that picture and I was like, I don't know if I've ever seen my eyes like that. She was just like, I look like I'm beaming. Like, I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah, it was so cute. She was just cheesing it so hard. I love you so much. I'm obsessed. all the memories we're gonna build over time and like mm -hmm. we've made it to I've almost a year i emotional today babe because it's like I like have this seasonal thing where like when when I'm in the same season of something that happened I get like really emotional and I started acting kind of weird a couple weeks ago and it was around the sa it was the same time last year that all this stuff happened when we were kind of a little rocky in the beginning with that other girl mm -hmm. and I think I was like remembering it and processing it and then now we're past that point and we're almost to the part where like a year ago where we started really like doing good yeah where we like started actually dating and she like about two weeks after all that happened she is when it's when you asked me to like officially like be your girlfriend i don't know it was it's <laughs> april 23rd april 23rd that's our official day it could have been like march something if you would have just 
She always brings this up. Yeah, it could have been March. It could have been. It could have been March, but nope, it has to be April. It's April. April 23rd is the day that I asked you to be my girlfriend. And here we are, almost a year later. It's crazy. On our YouTube vlog. Mm-hmm. At a cabin <laughs> in the woods. So let's turn the camera. Okay, well, we hope you loved our story. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel because um, we're trying to grow and we're going to try to get more and more videos um, as we have time. And we love all of you so much. Yeah, we do. And comment on uh, some of the stuff that we talked about. Like, yeah. We want to talk about it. And whatever sure. like questions you have or want us to address in our next vlog, like we'd be happy to. So just comment anything. Okay. Mwah.